before we ask Bruce any, any questions, I'm going to just introduce Vanessa Clark Austin, and she's from SRC, Scientific Research Council, and she's going to be speaking with us on Caribbean energy information systems that can add value and build business success. So y we're going to do two at a time, or the, well, two and then three, <laughs> and uh, then we take questions after the first two, and then we go into the three, so in the interest of time. So thank you. You could just tell us a little bit about yourself and the work you're doing, and then you can go into your thing. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. I am the I am one of the technical information officers in the Caribbean Energy Information System, which is housed at the Scientific Research Council. We are the regional focal point of uh, an 18-member network, which comprises of 18 Caribbean countries. So we are the central point that houses information on energy in the Caribbean. And CEIS was started out of a heads of government agreement in 1983. And as such, the CARICOM, CARICOM has requested information from us from time to to time and they set us up because sorry I'm still a bit new the mandate of CEIS is to focus on information flows of our small countries in terms of energy technology development and implementation because what they saw was that the information coming from the Caribbean when it was put up against the South Americans it got lost. So there was a need for the Caribbean to have its own system. The information age has provided the opportunity for, a large, for access to vast amounts of information from a central point at the click of a button. And we know technology changes quickly, so does the market and consumer needs. So in response to that, we need to manage our information. And in the past, this was disseminated through print, CD-ROMs, bulletin. So now there are various ways that we can share, such as information platforms and portals like InfoCat and social media which are dynamic ways of getting information to a busy client. Now at the SRC, CEIS uses information platforms as well as a web websites and Facebook to engage our users. We currently have three information platforms which store most of the information that we have as it relates to renewable energy, petroleum, energy efficiency, and business information. CIPOR, the Caribbean Information Platform on Renewable Energy. CBIP, Caribbean Environment and Energy Business Information Platform. And CIPET, the Caribbean Information Platform on Petroleum. And Stephanie will be just posting a slide, I think at the end of my presentation to just show the contact information and the URLs for those sites. So what is the role of these information platforms? They provide information on curtailing energy costs, provide access to data on energy trends, share best practices, share national policies so as to create a legislative environment that supports investment, allow for impact of past projects to be assessed from a country and a regional perspective, build capacity to competitive position Caribbean businesses in the local markets with information needed to support their business proposals. And it's a one-stop shop for energy information to see what has taken place, its impact on the sector, and to keep all stakeholders informed. Now, CEIS has several different types of information housed on our platforms. One of the most important ones is the expressions of interest and requests for proposals. 
currently there's a very important one, the proof of concept competition coming from the Caribbean Climate Innovation Center. And the climate, Caribbean Climate Innovation Center is one of seven that the World Bank is setting up around the world. The first one was established in Kenya and the Caribbean is being implemented now through the Scientific Research Council and Kariri, which is in Trinidad. This, pardon me, this competition focuses on climate technologies and the competition's deadline is March 30th. So the businesses who are here, you can visit CaribbeanCIC.org to get information on that proposal or you can visit one of the platforms to point you there. We also have vacancies within energy and related industries and we have persons, experts from within the industry who have come to the site and have gotten jobs that were posted there. We have events listed, news, news and other articles, legislative documents such as the energy acts and policies of our various member countries, limited petroleum statistics and business to business toolkits, energy e efficiency toolkits and environmental management tips and so on. So information that is not available on the platforms are st stored internally and is accessed through uh, payment. So as you can see, information is the core of work and it's the of our work in CEIS and it is the core of every business. For information to be of value, we need to turn it into meaningful and actionable insights. You have to be able to infer and hypothesize potential outcomes from your information draw from past data, grab opportunities from the present, market and promote, and you have to do this at fast intervals because as we said earlier, the market changes rather quickly. So information is a powerful tool for the future. With billions spent to develop massive complex infrastructures to manage information, it is our responsibility to use it wisely. Thank you very much, Vanessa.